This video is brought to you by Felix Winter. More on that later. Over the years, 3D artists have been able to simulate the behavior of light using 3D software successfully, which is what we usually do. Some of them took years to maybe decades to achieve, nonetheless. They are now easily simulated using an average computer. On the other hand, there is one lighting effect that is still super hard to simulate and can take literally years to render just a shot that looks realistic on your own computer, even if it has solid specs. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about caustics, what they are, why they take an insane amount of time to render, and why till this day, 3D artists and filmmakers have to fake it and can't really simulate it in a reasonable period of time, even with the progress we have achieved at this point. Now, to get a better idea, I'm gonna help you understand what this is. When light beams reflect or refract off a surface or pass through a transparent substance, creating bright or dark patches, this phenomenon is referred to as caustics in computer graphics. They are commonly seen in real-world situations, such as when light passes through a glass of water and creates shimmering patterns on the surface. In computer graphics, caustics play a crucial role in achieving a realistic render of transparent or refractive objects, like glass, water, or diamonds. Even though caustics are very hard to simulate and sometimes practically impossible to achieve in a short period of time due to many limitations, we still have to make them to make renders look believable and create scenes that mimic reality. 3D artists, and specifically VFX artists, sometimes fake caustics because creating realistic caustics can be computationally expensive and time-consuming, of course, meaning it takes time and so much hardware power. This is the case due to the complex nature of light interactions. This simply means calculating the path of every individual light ray as it interacts with different surfaces and objects in a scene which can be impractical for certain production timelines and budgets. Especially if the CG environments in a movie, for example, have a lot of water scenes and refractive surfaces as well. Therefore, VFX artists often use various techniques to fake caustics instead of simulating them fully, which I have to admit is the smartest move even though we can do it, because this is the most optimal way. These techniques may include using pre-rendered caustic patterns or creating caustic-like effects through compositing or texture mapping. By carefully crafting these effects, 3D artists can achieve a visually convincing representation of caustics without a lot of hassle. And if you want to become better equipped with tools that allow you to render your projects faster, let me tell you about Felix Render. If you are an illustrator, digital artist, interior designer, architect, or just a CG artist in general, Felix Render might be for you. Felix is an online rendering software based on LookScore, which I'm sure you have heard of at a certain point. It is designed specifically for architects, interior designers, and engineers. The thing is, it is capable of producing extremely realistic images with its physically accurate render engine and all the cutting-edge 3D rendering features like reflection, refraction, and state-of-the-art physically-based lighting. Felix is a small app, jam-packed with many features and holds a lot of horsepower under the hood. But don't let the simplicity of the interface fool you. This tool is more than capable of running things around on any rig you have. And because everything is done on the cloud, this tool will easily help you plan, concept, and render your ideas in a matter of just minutes with its powerful render farm and extensive library of high-quality materials, 3D objects, and assets, saving you a lot of time searching for them on the web, like trees, vehicles, furniture, people, tools, and much more. You can populate your scenes with a couple of clicks, using the available assets right out of the box. Felix also offers a free subscription where you will get a daily credit. It also integrates with other software like Rhino, where you can automatically sync your project directly to Felix Render. So if that sounds interesting and you want to try Felix for free, click the link down below to get started right now. So, to help you understand more, I have to let you know that there are two types of caustics. First of all, let's talk about reflection caustics. These occur when light rays reflect off a surface and concentrate in a certain area. For example, when light reflects off a shiny metallic surface, 
it can create bright spots or streaks on surrounding objects. So for example, water reflection caustics refer to the patterns of light and shadow that are created when light interacts with the surface of water and reflects onto surrounding objects or surfaces. These caustic effects are practically notable due to the transparent and refractive nature of water. So when light strikes the surface of water, it can undergo several interactions including reflection and refraction. Water reflection caustics are most noticeable when the water surface is disturbed or has ripples, and these irregularities cause the light to scatter in different directions. The interaction of light with ripples results in intricate patterns of bright areas and shadow regions of surrounding objects or the underwater environment, which is really really interesting. And now since you know that, you can see caustics all around you, which is incredible by the way. For example, consider sunlight reflecting off a surface or lake or river. The ripples and waves on the water surface cause the reflected light to concentrate in specific regions, creating shimmering and dancing patterns on the water surrounding. These patterns are water reflection caustics and they are absolutely captivating when you start observing them, especially if you are looking at it from a computer graphics perspective, I mean if you are a 3D artist. On the other hand, we have refraction caustics. These occur when light rays pass through a transparent material and bend or refract, creating patterns of light and shadow. For instance, when light passes through a glass of water, it can create intricate patterns on nearby surfaces. And this phenomenon also happens with translucent materials. On a side note, these caustic effects are practically prominent when the glass surface is especially curved or has irregularities. And this is the case, I would say, for most glass-made objects except maybe doors and windows. So when light enters a glass material, it undergoes refraction which is the bending of light as it passes from one medium such as air into another one such as glass due to the difference in the refractive indices of the two mediums. Most importantly, the degree of bending depends on factors such as the angle of indices, the curvature of the glass surface, and the refractive index of the material. Refraction caustics occur due to the concentration or spreading out of light as it bends and refracts through the glass. And when the glass surface is curved or has imperfections, the refracted light rays converge or diverge, creating patterns of light and dark areas on surrounding objects or surfaces. For example, imagine sunlight passing through a glass prism. The triangular shape of the prism causes the light to refract at different angles depending on its wavelength. As a result, the colors of the spectrum spread out and form a rainbow-like pattern on a surface behind the prism. These color patterns are a form of refraction caustics in the glass, which is really interesting. Generally speaking, in most cases, 3D artists choose to simply fake caustics, because realistic caustics can be visually complex and distracting, especially in scenes where the caustic patterns are not the primary focus. Also deadlines, budget limitations, hardware, or technical constraints can also influence the decision to fake caustics. So in a production environment, time and resources are often limited, and artists may need to find creative solutions to achieve the desired visual effects within those constraints. So in a nutshell, this is why. I hope you guys found this video about caustics interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to stay updated with 3D and interesting topics and concepts about computer graphics. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.